Hey, this is Bruno, and uh, it is August the, I think it's the 19th, and uh, I'm doing a 300 kilometer triangle record attempt, and uh, my thermals have been averaging anywhere between 9 and 1300 feet per minute going up, so it's just unbelievable. If you look on course, look at these beautiful clouds. And uh, every single one of these clouds has lift underneath it. It's just unbelievable. So if you look right now, my task speed averages 86 miles an hour. And that includes all the time that it's taken me to uh, to get up. So this truly could be, I mean, if it stays this unbelievable, this could be over 100 miles an hour, which is pretty darn decent in a glider. So uh, I am on my... Uh, my first leg going down south and uh, again just going so well if you look it's actually really smoky there have been tons of forest fires in the west but that doesn't seem to be affecting this so uh, there were hardly anybody out at the airport I think they're figuring eh, it's not gonna be that good holy cow this is one of the best days I've ever had yesterday I ended up doing a uh, 200 kilometer triangle record attempt. Uh, the record was 82 miles an hour and I end up getting 86 if it ends up working out. It still has to get checked out and verified. But, uh, whew, having a good time. So, sorry I haven't been filming much this year. I haven't been flying all that much either. I've just been super busy. But, uh, still, just uh, having fun. So this may be the last flight that I fly without the uh, uh, the butterfly vario that's uh, actually finally getting shipped to me and I'm really excited about that see I mean look at this no maybe not maybe that was a little bit of a sucker come on if you look my ground speed right now is about 140 knots so that's about 165 miles an hour not bad in a little old glider pretty amazing so, having fun. I'm only 16 miles out from my first uh, turn point, and uh, this is really looking good. Alright, so here I am coming up on my first turn point, and if you look, so far I've averaged 96 miles an hour on my task, which is pretty fun. I am uh, three miles away from my first turn point, and then I'm going to turn and head east. I kind of had to go out into the blue in order to get to this uh, turn point, but it hasn't been too sinky. The good news is, as I turn this way, you can see that there are clouds then for me to get to. My current altitude is uh, about 12,000 feet, and uh, which is fine. Um, I don't really want to get much below 10,000 feet if I don't have to, so that's why I'm actually kind of slowing down. Uh, my ground steep speed is still, you know, 117 knots, which is, like what, I don't know, 130 miles an hour or something. So that's awesome, but uh, I'm trying to slow down so I glide a little bit better. I have a little bit of a tailwind. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to hold this as I go through my, my turn point, just to kind of show it. find some lift. Alright, this is looking good. I got the clouds right in front of me and then plenty of other clouds, so ah, so far so good. That's the direction I came from, so you can see the big blue area that I had to go through. And uh, still really smoky, but this is just rocking. I'm hoping that the thermals are just as strong down here. Wish me luck. So here's the game of chess, of uh, gliding. So if you look at my speed, yeah, I suck. 
I'm down to 78 miles an hour. The good news is I'm on final glide with the McCready of two. I'm above uh, above final glide, but so I'm probably going to be in the uh, I'm going to guess 83 miles an hour, which is nowhere near as good as it should have been. Um, the clouds, if you look, ended up getting much more difficult to read. They weren't perfect and easy. Of course, it's never always easy. And so I, I wasted some time. I need to do some post-flight analysis and see what I did wrong. I probably messed around with too many clouds that I shouldn't have, but that's okay. So if you look, I've got a lot of blue to go to get home. But uh, again, um, I'm not too worried about that. If I need to, I can always divert over there to about you know 10 degrees to the, to the left. So now it's just on final glide. The question is, is uh, and again, the, 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 you know, I'm just barely over final glide. Now I think I do have a cushion of a thousand feet. So how fast do I fly? Do I fly aggressive to try to make up time, but then I'm going to have to stop and circle? Or uh, what do I do? So um, at this point, because I don't have a ton of really good clouds in front of me, I think what I really need to do is to fly a little bit more conservatively conservative so I should probably be more like in the uh, 90 knots range I mean if you look my task speed has already gone up one mile an hour now it's 79 pretty soon it'll be 80 so I think what I want to do because I don't know if I have strong lift in front of me because it's blue is to uh, try to get there without having to circle and uh, Unless I hit a lot of sink or something, it shouldn't be all that hard. So I think that's where I am. I'm already feeling a little bit of dead air. Because I've got Utah Lake in front of me. The good news is it doesn't create a lot of sink, but it doesn't create a lot of lift either. But uh, I'll take dead air over sink any day. See, there's a little bit of something. So my ground speed right now is uh, about 115 miles an hour. So that's going to help to uh, bring back up the the average. Again, I'm guessing 83 miles an hour. I'll be happy anything above that. 84 or 85 would be wonderful. 86 I'd be thrilled, but um, I only have 45 miles left to go. Uh, I don't know if I'll get that. Oh, we'll see. It's been a lot of fun. Again, you know, a lot of smoke, but the lift has been good. The fun flying with water. By the way, everybody always asks me, it's funny, it's like, are you on oxygen? No, I don't have emphysema. We're up so high, I mean, like right now I'm at 14,000 feet. And uh, really anything over 12,000 feet, you really should have oxygen. Actually, by law, you're supposed to wear it over 14, so that's why I always have oxygen on. And now it's just hopefully for an easy final glide. The next video will be, yay, I made it, or, oh, I got caught and stuck and slow and... I don't know, we'll see. So far though, it's pretty easy. Yay, I'm all smiles. I did it. Fun, fun, fun. And if you look, 86 miles an hour for the task speed. So uh, about three miles an hour faster than I thought I would. So I am thrilled. I'm just headed back to the airport now. It's still a really good soaring day, but my wife was nice. I'm going to go take her out. So yay! So yesterday was uh, the 200 kilometer triangle at 86 miles an hour and today is the 300 kilometer triangle at 86 miles an hour. So at least, uh, at least I'm consistent. But uh, I know that could have been flown faster. Um, so here's the gauntlet. Throw down the uh, challenge. Come out and fly with me. Love to fly with uh, new friends. Come out and visit Cedar Valley. Obviously you can see the flying is good here. And uh, come beat me, I want to race people, so come visit. Um, you've got a glider, you can come stay at my house and leave the glider out here. And uh, there's, the, uh, there's the invite, so come fly with me and uh, come play with me as we do these records together. See ya.